Have you ever considered what brings God joy? We like to think a lot about what brings us joy and how the joy of the Lord is our strength, but what is God's joy? What brings him joy? What makes him happy? Well, when we look at the Bible, we see a really interesting passage that Jesus quotes in Luke chapter 4. Um, I think it's verse 19, and it comes from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 2. And it's where Jesus is talking about proclaiming the year of the Lord's favor. The Spirit of God is upon him. It's anointed him to proclaim this year. What is this year of the Lord's favor? Well, we see it back in Leviticus 25. It comes from where we have the year of Jubilee. So every seventh year is supposed to be a Sabbath rest for the people and the land. And after seven sevens, the 50th year is the year of Jubilee. This is where people who are in debt have their debts forgiven. If they are in bondage as a bond servant, they are allowed to be set free. It is a year of redemption and freedom and forgiveness. This is the year of the Lord's favor. So when we're talking about Jesus and he is proclaiming that the spirit of God is on him and that he has been anointed to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, Jesus is saying the year of the Lord's favor is now and it is forgiveness and it is release from debt. It is release from imprisonment. And all of these things are in relationship to God. So there is freedom and reconciliation, repair of relationship. That is the year of the Lord's favor. It brings God joy. So much so that God is overjoyed with this. We see that in Zephaniah chapter 3 where it talks about the Lord joying over us. He's rejoicing to pour out this blessing upon us to bring this forgiveness. So consider as a parent how you feel if you give your children something amazing that they were not expecting and you're so excited, it brings you joy. This is God's joy poured out because of the gift of salvation that he has given to us, the gift of freedom and forgiveness and restoration. Something to think about in this joyful third week of Advent. Blessings on you today.